learning objectives. After studying this learning module, you will be able to state the meaning of bank reconciliation statement, understand the need for preparing a bank reconciliation statement, identify the causes of differences between bank balance as per cash book and as per passbook, know the method of preparation of bank reconciliation statement, know how to ascertain the correct balance as per cash book. Bank Reconciliation Statement Meaning What is a Bank Reconciliation Statement? A Bank Reconciliation Statement is defined as a summary of banking and business activities of a firm. This reconciles an entity's bank account with its financial records. In addition, it outlines deposits, withdrawals and other activities that impact a bank account for a specific period. In other words, it is a report which compares the bank balance as per company's accounting records with the balance stated in the bank statement. Purpose of Preparing a Bank Reconciliation Statement In general scenario, it is experienced that when a company's bank balance as per accounting records to differ from the balance as per bank statement due to timing difference. Some of the business transactions are recorded by the entity which are updated in the bank's system after a certain time lag. On the other hand, some transactions are updated in the bank's financial system even before the organization incorporates them into its own accounting system. These are timing differences that appear as reconciling items while preparing a bank reconciliation statement. Hence, the main aim behind preparing a bank reconciliation statement is to find out any such discrepancies that exist between the company's accounting records and the bank's financial records. Importance of a Bank Reconciliation Statement It helps to detect or identify errors in the accounting records of the company or the bank. It facilitates the control mechanism and thus helps protect the most vulnerable asset of the company, that is cash. It assists in the constant monitoring of cash flows of a business. BRS Features and Steps in the Preparation Features of a BRS Bank Reconciliation Statement A BRS or Bank Reconciliation Statement is a statement and not a ledger. Hence, it is not prepared on the principles of double entry system. It is not a part of books of accounts. It is prepared periodically like weekly, monthly, quarterly, etc. Depending upon the volume of bank transactions, it is prepared only in the case when there is a disagreement between the bank balance as per the cash book and balance as per passbook. It starts with a given balance of any book and ends with balance of other book. It is not legally compulsory to prepare bank reconciliation statement. Steps involved in the preparation of a BRS The steps involved in preparing a bank reconciliation statement are given below. When the bookkeeper receives the bank statement, he has to first check all the entries in the cash book for that period against the bank statement. All items appearing in both the cash book and the bank statement will be ticked or checkmarked. For items that are not ticked, the bookkeeper needs to know the nature and detail of each item. The bookkeeper needs to write up the cash book by entering those items that are on the bank statement but not in the cash book. 
The cash book is then balanced to get the adjusted cash book balance. After the above steps are completed, the accountant or bookkeeper is ready to prepare BRS. The bookkeeper can start with balance as per adjusted cash book or balance as per bank statement. Causes of differences between the cash balances as per cash book and pass book. Bank reconciliation and introduction. A bank reconciliation is a process that involves listing the items that will adjust the bank statement balance to become the true cash balance. Differences between cash balances of bank and cash book. 1. Checks issued but not yet presented for payment. When the trader issues check to the third party for its payment, then that amount, he records it in the credit side of the cash book in the bank column. But the record of this transaction will not be recorded by the bank into the customer's account till the third party, that is holder of the check or draft, presents it for payment. Therefore, in the passbook, such transactions are not recorded and thus difference is found in both the books. Checks, bills, banks, drafts, etc. sent to bank for collection but not collected. The trader receives from the third parties from time to time checks, bills, bank drafts, etc. for his payments due, which he deposits into the bank for collection. The businessman immediately makes a record of the above in the debit side of the cash book in bank column when as he sends it for the collection. However, the bank makes a credit transaction in the customer's account only when actually it realizes the amount of the cheque or bank draft. Some of the other differences are Interest allowed or credited by bank. Bank commission, bank charges of interest on overdraft charged by bank. Collection of dividend and interest and receipt of direct payment from debtors. Dishonor of discounted bills. Differences caused by errors. What is a BRS? And why it is prepared? A BRS or Bank Reconciliation Statement is a statement prepared to reconcile or tally the differences that appear between the bank statement or passbook and the firm's cash book so that the cause of difference thereof is ascertained. Businesses need to prepare the Bank Reconciliation Statement for the following reasons. To rectify any errors that might be presented in the cash book. To ascertain that the balance reported in the company's cash book is accurate. Any errors made by the bank are discovered and corrective measures are taken. To discover any dishonored checks and take corrective measures. To keep a better control over the recordings in the cash book and hence improve the accountability. Differences caused by errors. At times, the difference between the two balances can be cause of an error on the part of the bank or an error in the cash book of the business. 1. Errors committed in recording transactions by the firm. Any omission or wrong recording of transactions which is related to checks issued, checks deposit, incorrect totaling etc. committed by the firm in the cash book will create an imbalance between the bank passbook and firm's cash book. 2. Errors committed in recording transactions by the bank. Any omission or wrong recording of the transactions related to checks issued, checks deposited, 
wrong totaling etc committed by the bank in the passbook will create an imbalance between the bank passbook and the firm's cash book need for the preparation of bank reconciliation statement defining bank reconciliation statement a bank reconciliation statement is a practice of comparing company's records with bank's financial records this is done to find any differences that exist between these two sets of records for a firm's cash transactions in other words the process of reconciling a bank statement involves reconciling an entity's bank account with its financial records the main aim of this process is to ascertain the differences between the two balances and to make changes to the accounting records as required pro forma of a bank reconciliation statement The bank reconciliation statement is prepared by two methods. One, considering the bank balance as per cash book as the starting balance. Two, considering the bank balance as per pass book as the starting balance. Why is bank reconciliation statement prepared? A bank reconciliation statement plays a vital role in ensuring the accuracy of the bank balance shown by the passbook and cash book helps detect and rectify any error committed in both the books provides a check on the accuracy of entries made in both the books identifies any delay in the collection and clearance of some checks keeps a check on any fraud or embezzlement helps in separating valid and invalid transactions such as wrongly charged fee by the bank preparation of bank reconciliation statement with adjusted cash book balance bank reconciliation with corrected or adjusted cash balance A bank reconciliation statement is prepared generally without correcting the cash book during different months of the year. However, at the end of an accounting year, cash book should be corrected for the entries that should have been recorded but have not been recorded in the cash book. This should be done before preparing a bank reconciliation statement. items causing difference between the two balances these items are checks issued but not yet presented checks deposit but not yet collected due to an error in the passbook steps in the preparing bank reconciliation statement with adjusted cash book balance under this method of preparing a brs The entries recorded in both bank column of cash book and pass book are to be examined in order to compute the correct bank balance and then the bank reconciliation statement should be prepared with the correct bank balance as per the cash book The steps involved in the preparation of the bank reconciliation statement with adjusted or amended cash balance are as given below Step 1 The bank balance as per the cash book is noted. Step 2 All the errors committed in the cash book to be recorded are rectified. Step 3 Transactions present only on the credit side of the pass book needs to be recorded on the debit side of the cash book. Step 4 transactions present only on the debit side of the pass book needs to be recorded on the credit side of the cash book step 5 at the end total the cash book and find the balancing figure which is used to prepare the bank reconciliation statement preparation of bank reconciliation statement without adjusting cash book balance understanding the terms favorable and unfavorable balance favorable balance is the debit balance as per the cash book and this will be a credit balance as per the bank pass book 
unfavorable balance is the reverse of favorable balance. Preparing bank reconciliation statement without adjusting cash book balance. Under this method, the bank reconciliation statement is made with balance as per cash book or passbook taken as the starting item. A. Steps to deal with favorable balances. 1. Date on which the statement is being prepared is written at the top. 2. Generally, the first item of this statement is the balance as shown by the cash book. It can also be the balance as per passbook. 3. Checks deposited but not yet collected or deducted. 4. Amounts of checks that are issued but not yet presented for payment are added. 5. All the items of charges like interest on overdraft, payment by bank on standing instruction and debited by the bank in the passbook but not yet entered in the cash book, dishonored checks and bills etc. are deducted. 6. All credits that are given by bank such as interest on dividends collected and direct deposits are added. B. Steps to deal with unfavorable balances or overdrafts. At times, businesses don't have favorable balances or have overdrafts at the bank. These overdrafts are where bank account becomes negative and the businesses have borrowed from the bank. This is shown in the cash book as a credit balance. The overdraft is called a debit balance as per passbook and is treated as a negative figure on a bank reconciliation statement. Step 2 as certain the correct cash book balance. Explaining the terms cash book, passbook and BRS. Cash book. A cash book is a book in which all cash or check receipts and expenditure are recorded. The cash book records all receipts and is reconciled to the bank statements. The cash book should show the amounts received on a daily basis and should also record all cash payments and be balanced regularly. Spas book. It is a copy of the customer's bank account as it appears in the books of the bank. BRS BRS or Bank Reconciliation Statement is a statement made on a particular date to reconcile the bank balance as per cash book with the balance as per passbook. The statement also shows the entries causing the differences between the two balances. Enumerating the steps to ascertain the correct cash book balance. Most of the transaction items which generally cause differences between the balances appear only in the passbook. Such items are recorded in the cash book first and then the bank reconciliation statement is prepared. The steps are given below that are involved in the preparation of adjusted cash book. 1. The bank balance as per cash book is noted. 2. All the errors committed in the cash book are to be recorded and then rectified. 3. Transactions that are present only on the credit side of the passbook need to be recorded on the debit side of the cash book. 4. Transactions that are present on the debit side of the passbook need to be recorded on the credit side of the cash book. 5. Total the cash book and find the balancing figures. This balancing figure is then used to prepare the bank reconciliation statement. Timing differences on recording of the transactions. Understanding a BRS. In the terms of bookkeeping, a BRS or a bank reconciliation statement is defined as a process that describes the difference between the bank balance shown in an organization's bank statement as supplied by the bank and the corresponding amount shown in the organization's own accounting records on a specified date. 
Reasons for preparing a BRS Businesses need to prepare the bank reconciliation statement for the following reasons. To ascertain that the balance reported by the company's cash book is accurate. To identify and rectify any errors present in the cash book. To keep a control over the recordings in the cash book and prevent any fraudulent activities. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. A bank reconciliation statement is defined as a summary of banking and business activities of a firm. Bank reconciliation statement helps in identifying errors in the accounting records of the company or the bank. Bank reconciliation statement is prepared by two methods. Considering the bank balance as per cash book as the starting balance. Considering the bank balance as per passbook as the starting balance. Favorable balance is the debit balance as per the cash book and this will be a credit balance as per the bank passbook. A book in which all cash or check receipts and expenditures are recorded is called cash book. Businesses need to prepare the bank reconciliation statement for the following reasons. To ascertain that the balance reported by the company's cash book is accurate. To identify and rectify any errors present in the cash book. To keep a control over the recordings in the cash book and prevent any fraudulent activities.